The biggest misconception is that successful people are more motivated. These days you get a lot of people searching online for motivation and always asking the question of how do I stay motivated all the time? But actually, it's not about motivation. If you look at the most successful people in the world, the more important rule is the rule of discipline. Some people, they're trying to lose weight and then they are trying to have that motivation to not eat junk food not eat all the trash that they're putting into their body. Um, and they say, how do I find the motivation to want that successful body or, or, or work out at the gym? But again, that's not the secret. Because if you look at the people who are in shape, the people who are building the muscles, if you were to ask them, there's so many days that they are unmotivated or demotivated, but guess what? They do it anyway. I think an important thing is to really understand and have clarity of your goal. Like, know why you want that thing. Know your why, know your desire, have that burning desire, and keep reminding yourself of it. Because it's very easy to get caught up with everything that's going on around the world and the challenges and the obstacles that come along the way, and then suddenly you feel deflated or you feel like you're lacking motivation. For sure. I, I believe that uh, the most successful people in the world, they do a lot of things even when they don't feel like it. They go for a run even if it's raining. They uh, don't give the excuses for the lack of resources. Instead, they become more resourceful. They don't say, I don't have the money, so I cannot do it. They say, if I don't have the money and I need to get this thing right now and I want the result, how do I find the money? They don't say, I don't have the time. They, they make the time. It's an uncomfortable journey. And that's the thing that usually stops people because people usually have this misconception that their intuition or gut feeling is telling them that it's not right for them. When in fact, it's just because it's uncomfortable. Think of your first driving lesson. That was probably uncomfortable, knowing how to uh, switch lanes and mirrors and left hand and left leg and right leg all at the same time it was probably uncomfortable, but guess what? If you continuously practice it, it becomes comfortable. It becomes a part of you. So you're not phased by it anymore. And so when it comes to discipline, it comes to also acceptance that the journey is not gonna be easy, but that is what it takes to be a winner. I think surrounding is the secret because if you change your surrounding and everybody else is a lot more motivated around you or they get stuff done, naturally you will uh, be uh, affected by their motivation, by their vibrational frequency. That's why we always say our tribe equals our vibe. So I think that if you can surround yourself, not with lazy people, but with productive people, you will naturally become more productive and therefore getting more results in life.